Hi folks, Bob Dale from Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi. Where we sell motorhomes, we sell an occasional trailer, we sell them only on eBay. All that means to you folks is that we're not open to the public, so you're going to have a chance to buy it if you're bidding on it and you see something you like. We very rarely sell trailers, folks, because they are so common. And you can buy one on any street corner. A trailer for us to list, it has to be something special, and we're going to list one of those little trailers today. I just love this thing. I camped in one basically like this for years at my deer camp. Just absolutely loved it. If you've been looking for a little usable camper trailer that you can pull with anything, you need to come and look at this trailer and look at it closely. You'll buy it. Plus, you talk about a bargain. It's going to be a bargain. It's a 2006 Jayco. It's an ultralight trailer, folks. It's about 20 uh, feet long, has good tires, got all the amenities, got outside shower, got the racks for your outside TV and all that. The awning's good, no what, no leaks, no issues. Come on, we're gonna show it to you. It's got your, it's got your bottle on it here. Here's your battery, glass is good. Look down the side, Dan. No D-lamp whatsoever, folks. Got pass-through storage. Lots of storage in this little motor home. This little trailer is handy as it can be. And of course it does have a full bathroom and no dry rod on the tires. Uh, got holding tanks. Storage system. Got crank down City level and jacks. Connections. Uh, here. Some states you can pull a little boat or whatever behind you. Here's your outside shower here. Great little awning. You can look at this awning and see it. And it's wet because it's raining here in, in the Confederacy. It's a Model 186 Jayco. It is a J Feather Sport. Somebody paid a lot of money for this, but you're going to get the benefit. So I walk back around here just a second because people always ask me. Look down the side of this. These have an aluminum frame. It's not a cheap wood frame like most of them. It's aluminum. It this rack. New. You can buy different accessories to hang on that rack, like a table for a TV or a grill or just all different kinds of stuff. Cooler. The point I'm making is everyone always sees these trailers and the first thing they ask me, does it have any D-Lamb? No, it doesn't have any D-Lamb. The paint's perfect. We've not waxed it and buffed it or anything. This is the way it looks and it's some kind of pretty. Come in here, we'll step in. Okay, come on in, folks. You want to see a neat little trailer? Look at this. Look, the best time I ever had in my life was camping in a trailer about like this. There's three and four of us left in it. Nice bed. It's got, they put the water tank under That's the bed, which idea. is nice, keep it from freezing. Plus you got storage around it, no leaks. No uh, peeling or curling or soft spots in no these. No stains. Cabinet corners are up over the front. Hey, folks, look, let me tell you something. Everybody gets excited about a camper trailer and they want to pull the kids and they want to go to the lake and they want to take the Boy Scouts and so they go out and they buy them a 30 foot trailer. Well guess what? You got to have, you got to buy a truck to pull it. And then when you get there you got to go to all that hassle, doing this and that. You, you, it, it can't be fun. A little trailer like this, look truck folks, this trailer only weighs 2,900 pounds. Heck I guess you can pull it with a minivan. Not even know it was back there. This is the perfect size camper to use in sleep. There are four kids in that bed, there are four adults according to how much you like each other. You got a bed right here, your little, your little vanity. You can sleep on that. Uh, what we do is we got air mattress and we put the floor and uh, it's just fun. A trailer like this is by George. The neatest thing in the way to go. Got us got a stereo system in it. CD player. So come on there, CD player. We got it plugged up. Look how neat we got to do this microwave is. It's not been used. Stove top. Uh, it's a Dometic. Clean. Water. We've got the water off because it's supposed to freeze. But look. No stains, no issues. Lots of storage up here. This is all storage, folks. Storage underneath here. Most people selling these trailers won't pull them out. We won't show you under the sink, but I can promise you there's not a speck of water underneath it. And those hookups you see, that's so you can set a TV or a flat panel in this little hole here. And that way you can watch it from the bed or see it from anywhere. The, the, the ideal thing to do, so what we do is get you a big flat screen 
and put it right here, set it right here, and then when you're traveling, throw it up on the bed and pull it. But there's nothing to go wrong in these little motor homes. They're bulletproof. I'm, they're just handy. The refrigerator is plain as a pen. And let me show you, it is, we just hooked it up and it's already ice cold in the freezer. A good size bathroom with a tub. Actually has a tub, which is good if you got little kids. No leaks around the skylight. Medicine cabinet. You got the pedestal toilet sitting up, so you makes it easier to use. Nice trailer. Folks, if you need a little trailer, don't get seduced by, by, by trailer sales and RV dealers. Don't pay, don't, don't, don't go pay $45 for a trailer. That, that a year later, or, or a month later, you couldn't get $20,000 for it if your life depended on it. Buy you a trailer like this, whether it's from us or whoever. All the depreciation's gone out of it. You can use this trailer five years and put it out in front of your house and put a <coughs> sale sign on it and get your money back. You can go buy a new one like it for $25,000 or whatever they cost, and you can use it about two months and put it out in front of your house. You can't get 15 for it. You can buy this trailer, I'm, I'm talking about for a bargain. You're going to sell this for no reserve and just yeah, below no the truck. Reserve. We're going to sell it no reserve. So, but when the sale's over, someone's going to own it. And unless we get a deadbeat bidder like we've got a lot of before, it will be going somewhere or we'll sell it before the sale's over. My name's Bob Dale. My phone number is 601-218-1223. 601-218-1223. I'm going to sell this trailer before the sale is over. It's going to be listed with no reserve, but I'm going to sell it. So if you're interested in it, call me. If you've got a question about it, call me. I'll tell you what we'll take for it. It'll be a bargain. You'll come down here and pick it up. You'll be tickled to death. You'll like it a lot because we do. But it's an 06 Jayco Featherlight. Weighs 2,900 pounds. The tires are perfect. Absolutely no D lamb. The awning's nice. You see on the inside, there's no soft spots. There's no, I mean, there's no D lamb. There's no leaks. So, if you want to buy you a really nice trailer, give me a call. Otherwise, bid on it because when this auction's over, it's going to have a new home. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm sorry, I maybe signed a little. I use a little bit of hyperbole about this trailer, folks, but I mean, I just like it a lot. Plus, we, 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 we'll have eight or ten trailers and motorhomes listed. And I may not know if some of them will sell or some of them will get a deadbeat bid or whatever, but I know this little trailer will sell because it's wonderful. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it very much. We look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi.